What's up, guys? It's Pack Crackers Week on Amonkhet. No, it's Amonkhet Week on Pack Quackers. That's what I wanted to say, but I didn't. Uh, but it's two for Tuesday, and instead of just two packs like I often do, I'm going to open up two Planeswalker decks. I'm going to go through these pretty quick uh, because I don't want this video to last eight GD years. Uh, but I'm going to open up Gideon first. Uh, I'll, I'll talk about Gideon later if I can ever get him out of here. That is the problem, isn't it? Don't don't bend it, don't bend it, don't bend it. Um, she said. Uh, but pretty sweet artwork on the box. There's Gid, the Gid. There's his name. There's a Planeswalker symbol. There's some white colors. This is a white and green. There's a white and blue. There's a white. I don't know what colors it is. White and red. Ah, the one I didn't pick. And I, I pick what? And I got two packs, of course, and a bunch of junk that doesn't matter. Bloop. Uh, but I'm gonna open up the deck real quick. Look at some of the the rares here, and if there's any more mythics, I don't think there is. I think it's just the one Gideon mythic, uh, Gideon Marshall Paragon. All right, come on now. Don't be don't be an asshole. Uh, so my first rare here is Hazard's Favor, three drop enchantment. At the beginning of your combat on your turn, you may have target creature card. Uh, I control get plus two plus zero and gain haste until end of turn. If I do stack it out at the beginning of the next end step, then have Glory Bound Initiate, a two drop. Uh, this one uh, is a human warrior, it's three one, and I may exert Glory Bound Initiate as it attacks. Uh, when I do, it gets plus one, plus three, and gains life lake until end of turn. Another rare, Gideon's Resolve. Enchantments. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, I may search my library and or graveyard for card name Gideon Marshall Paragon, which is this guy. Uh, if I reveal it and put it into my hand, if you search your library this way, shuffle it. Creatures I control get plus one, plus one. There's another one of those. I'm just going to go through the rare cards here. It's gonna skip, 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 skippity, 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 dippity, boop. If you're fast enough, you can pause and read some. If you're not that fast, I feel real bad because I'm going super fast to see if there's any more rares or mythics. There's dual color land. There's some plains and some fucking fire ones uh, called mountains, as it were. Then I'm back to the cards, and there's, this might be the sideboard. I don't think it is, but it might be. It's not. All right. <clears throat> a couple rares. A couple decent ones. Especially if you're... Because I want to start a Gideon deck. I want to start a Liliana deck. I want to start one deck with multiple versions of each Planeswalker. And try to make that work. Uh, but I'm going through these real quick. Uh, for, uh, for classic... Let me... Quotation. Classic Pack Fridays. I'm going to be opening uh, each one of the other decks. I've got two of each, uh, and I'm going to be talking a little bit more about them. It's just a quick way of doing it. Uh, but I got Gideon um, Marshall, Martial Paragon Marital. Who's who's to say? That is the exclusive uh, Gideon in this pack in this deck. Uh, four and white. It's plus two is to untap all creatures I control. Those creatures get plus one plus one till end of turn. It's zero cost is until end of turn, Gideon Marshall Paragon uh, becomes a 5-5 five, five human uh, soldier creature with an destructible that's still Planeswalker, prevent all damage that would be dealt to him uh, this turn. Uh, Gideon often turns into like a warrior or a soldier or something. Uh, and it's minus 10, which is creatures you control get, minus, get plus 2, plus 2 until end of turn. Tap all creatures your opponents control, which is pretty GD wicked. If you have the money to get doubling season or something that doubles counters, this comes in with five for five mana. That doubling season doubles those. Ten, you can do that minus ten right off the fucking get-go. Boosh, your creatures have plus two, plus two. Ain't no motherfucker, ain't no motherfucker blocking them. Uh, but the main reason I got uh, two of each deck is because I want one deck just to keep it so I can play with friends and stuff. And the next deck I want as kind of like, you know, I can break it apart. I can take cards out. I can use them how I feel. Whatever. 
So I'm going to open these packs and just going to look at the uncommon, or yeah, the uncommons and the rares. Well, who am I kidding? The uncommons and the mythic I'm going to get. Uh, if you want to read any of these, I'm sure I'm going to open these freaking uh, commons and quite often in the next few weeks. Um, but I got uh, wa wa not a welfare javelin javelinier, but a warfire javelinier. That's a I hate that name already. Uh, Avon Wind Guide. I got Scaled Behemoth. And my rare is Cascading Cataracts. This isn't a bad card. Uh, it's indestructible. I can tap for a colorless, or I can pay five and add five mana of in, in any combinations of colors to my mana pool, which is nice. Because if you have like a four or five color deck, um, but you're getting screwed and you have a couple of those guys out, you can get unscrewed real quick. Then I got a foil fan bearer, one drop zombie. Oh, yeah, also a lot of white zombies. I'm assuming mummies uh, in this uh, in this set. It's gonna be weird with all these white zombies. Zombies have been pretty much just black. Innistrad had some blue ones. I think uh, fuck what was it? Alara had some some blue, at least one blue one I can think of. Uh, blue black one at least. Uh, but this one has a lot of white ones. So now I'm gonna have to make my zombie deck a three color goddamn deck. I'm sure, but it's one to uh, pay two to tap target creature. Not too good. That one's not going in the deck, probably. Um, but next pack, I shall crack, shall be known as Amon Cat. Uh, this, uh, this set reminds me of the Mummy movies, not the new uh, Tom Cruise one, but the old school uh, Brendan Fraser with. Uh, Anaxunamu, uh, the mummy dude's uh, lady friend. She was smoking. She was all right, if you ask me. You didn't ask me, but I told you. I got open into wanders, my uncommon. I think she was actually, now that I think about it, I think she was actually uh, Hispanic in descent. And she played an Egyptian. Whatever. I'm not judging. Whatever. Just put whoever you want. If she's that hot, she can be in the damn movie. Uh, Lay Bearer, The Heart, uh, Sh Shefet Monitor, and I got Vizier of Many Faces. Uh, two and two blue. Shapeshifter Cleric, it's zero, 0 That's odd. Why would it come in as a zero, 0 creature? Let's find out. You may have this enter the battlefield as a copy of any creature on the battlefield, except if this was embalmed the token has no mana cost it's white and it's a zombie in addition to its other types embalm for three and two blue then i got a foresto and a warrior that was gideon for Shidian. but now my little lady liliana is up to bat she's probably never played baseball i'm sure she'd be okay with it you know whatever I'm not judging. Or am I? I'm not. I don't judge. Am I a judge? Am I getting paid to be a judge? No, then I'm not going to judge. So fuck off. Uh, but there's. I'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, I'm going to open up. You got uh, uh, the sexy lady Liliana. <laughs> oh, wow. Then I got that. And I got some, some designs and some planeswalker. I'm going to open up the box. What's in the box? It's a planeswalker deck. And two packs. And a couple of these things I don't care about. Uh, a pair of packs. Set them aside. Actually put them there. As kind of like background. These are what's coming up. And I'm going to... Uh, black green. I don't mind black green. But it's not my favorite combination. Uh, black blue is always good. Black red isn't bad. Some rock dose. Uh, I'll even take black white. Black white isn't bad. I like the Orzov. I do have a. I did make a very expensive Orzov deck, which isn't bad, but whatever. Uh, but first rare is Channeler Initiate. Uh, two drop human druid three four. When it enters the battlefield, put three minus one minus one counters on target creature I control. I can tap to remove a minus one minus one counter from this guy and add one mana of any color to my mana pool. Uh, Oracle's Vault. Guess I should read about that, shouldn't I? Four drop artifact, pay two and tap, exile top card of your library until end of turn. I may play that card 
and put a brick counter on this guy. Then tap to exile top card of my library till end of turn. Till end of turn, I may play that card without paying its mana cost. Activate its ability if there's only three or more brick counters. Uh, Liliana's Influence, which is four and two black. It's a sorcery. Put a minus one, minus one counter on each creature I don't control. I may search my library and or graveyard for a card named Liliana Deathwielder. Reveal it and put it into my hand. Search my library this way. Shuffle it. And I got to back up one of those. I got a Festering Mummy. That's, that's not a rare. So let me just see if there's any more rares. It probably isn't here but i'm gonna look see some dual colored guys some land 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 uh, some more of them guys some more them guys more them guys nope no more rares so let me pick these up for some if i can then i got a foily doily uh, Liliana Death Wielder uh, is a seven drop, five and two black. Starts with five counters. I can do its plus two to put a minus one minus one counter on up to one target creature. I can uh, minus three to destroy a target creature with minus one minus one counter on it, and I can minus ten to return all creature cards from my graveyard to the battlefield. Not too shabby, that guy, lady. I'm sorry. Uh, definitely a lady. <laughs> So I'm going to put these back in here. Tap, tap, tap. I'm going to close that up. I'm going to open up them packs. See what I get. Like I said, uh, every now and then I'm going to be, well, I guess two times, I suppose. I'm going to be doing a uh, Class Pack Fridays where I open up those and talk a little bit more about each card in it. Um, but I'm going to go through the commons real quick. Quick, like, boop, a doop, a doop. I got Faith of the Devoted, uh, Gate to the Afterlife, Reduce and Reduce to Rubble, I guess. Uh, counter target spell, unless it's controller, page three is reduced. It's an instant uh, for two and a blue. Then Aftermath for two and a red. Uh, up to three target cre three target lands don't untap during their controller's next untap step. My rare for this one is a Honored Hydra. Uh, it's a six drop, one of which is green. Snake Hydra, 6-6, six, six, has trample and a balm four. I exile this card from your graveyard, create a token. That's a copy of it, except it's a white zombie Snake Hydra with no mana costs. And balm only as a sorcery. So basically bring it out for better cost, pretty much, is what embalm is. <clears throat> then I got this lady. Gonna open her. Oop. Was it still Tuesday? Is it still Tuesday already? All right, I think I'm almost done anyway, so that's cool. Whatever. Uh, I got a fan bearer. I'm not gonna tell you about all these things. You can pause and read them if you need to. Uh, weird ass white zombies. I'm not a fan of, but whatever. I'll take them. My first uncommon is Open Into Wonder. Uh, it is X and 2 blue. It uh, has a sorcery. Uh, X target creatures can't be blocked this turn until end of turn those creatures gain. Whenever this creature deals combat damage to a player, draw a card. Then I got a Manglehorn. Uh, it's 2 and a green beast. 2-2. Two, two. When it enters the battlefield, I may destroy target artifact. And artifacts... My opponent's control, enter the battlefield tapped. Then I got a spring to mind. Uh, is two and a green for the spring. It's a sorcery. Search your library for a basic land card, put it into the battlefield tapped, then shuffle your library. And mind has aftermath. Draw two cards for four and two blue. Instant. And then I got a plague belcher. Burp. Excuse me, I didn't mean to get that plague on you. Or did I? He probably did. He's an asshole. Whatever. Uh, it's two and a, and a black mana. Zombie beast. Yeah, he is. 5-4 with menace. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, put two minus one minus one counters and target creature I control. Uh, whenever this, whenever another zombie I control dies, each opponent loses a life. All right. Then I got a mountain. 
and the sweet ass, kind of sweet ass, uh, if they only had plus one plus ones for this as well, would be even better. But these are, I'll show you. You bend them, right? You, you shouldn't bend a card, right? What are you doing, Josh? Why are you bending a card? Because this shit's perforated. Look how clean of a cut that was. I couldn't do that if I just bended it once. It must be perforated. Then I can, oh shit, I perforated again. And now I'm perforating some more. Watch out, get back. I'm perforating like I'm on crack. Then you can perforate, then you can even perforate inside. You can perforate inside, inside. And you can perforate inside, inside, inside. And then, oh, this one has minus one, minus one counter. Let me just put it there. Look at it. That's how you do it. Oh, you put another minus one, minus one counter on it. I'll just stack them. I don't give a fuck. You can't tell me how to play this game. I mean, you can because there's rules to it and all, but... Oh, you just gave me two more minus one, minus one counters? Guess what? Boop, boop. You're fucking dead, probably, with all those minus one, minus one counters. I would say. I would assume, at least. But anyway, guys, that was Liliana Deathwielder and Gideon Mar Marshall Paragon, the Planeswalker decks. So, thanks for watching, and keep on watching, I'll keep on cracking. Remember, a giveaway Thursday, uh, bundle pack Friday, tomorrow, just the pack, just, just keeping it simple. Taking it easy is what we're doing tomorrow. Taking it easy. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Bye.